How's it going? Look, I got an, a new toque from my good friend Darlene, a maker of all my toques. And this one came with mitts and uh, a neck warmer, right? <laughs> I'll wear this, all this stuff. Um, okay, so CBC removed uh, President Trump's cameo in, in Home Alone to the one in New York. So apparently that's been going on, uh, well, since 2015 or 16, when the president uh, was first running, then they stopped showing it. It's like, a, what, a five or 10 second clip in a 25 year old movie, is it? <sighs> one more uh, pile, one more stone on the pile of anti-American rhetoric and hate uh, propagated by the state media here in Canada, the CBC. The things like, you know, the same along, along the line of things of, don't go to America, Canadian citizens. You shouldn't be going there because, you know, your rights are going out in the window. And I talked about that already. So they're doing this. In and of itself, it's not a big deal, but it's just one more thing. And a lot of uh, American YouTubers are speaking on this. And not just little ham and eggers either. Uh, I'm guessing we'll probably see some more YouTubers from around the world commenting on this and talking about the state media, communism, Canada. Well, what can you say? I watched Anthony Brian Logan and he said it like it's same things I do. There's no, there's no conservatism in Canada. They're all liberal, liberal, liberal. Mostly the government they're the worst. He says, but there's no conservatism like here. And uh, you know, he talks about the state broadcasting. You know, that's where they get all their money from. And like I said, I put in there it's to the tune of 1.5 billion every year. This is how stupid they are. You don't think that. America is going to notice one more Amer anti-American hate thing when you delete uh, their president from a movie like that? Did you take him off it? <laughs> it's like it kind of draws attention to it, doesn't it? CBC doesn't care. We all know what that's like already. How many, how many times are I going to come on and say, look at all uh, the, the anti-American hate that this government's trying to perpetuate. It's, uh, or not perpetuate, to propagate. And then they're bringing in people that think that way. And then get mad when those people that they're bringing in here are trying to slip over to America and they're getting stopped at the border, right? Getting stopped at the border by officials. That, jeez, the nerve of, the nerve of those Americans. Trying to trying to watch who comes in their country. So, I mean, the good points in that were state-funded media, communism. Once there's communism, the economy will collapse and people will be hungry. We're, we're, who said stuff like that before? Now, it's people from way outside of Canada looking at us. And then now it's Americans looking at all the anti-American propaganda and American hate that comes out of this country. Fully endorsed by the government and the state media. Yeah, that's all good, right? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.